The shark was swimming and attacking in the very same waters where this local family swims, and they have the video and pictures to prove it. The great white is about 20 yards from shore, viciously tossing a seal from the sea just off Race Point South in Provincetown. The cycle of life, interrupting a Friday evening at the beach for the Cronoyers. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. Like, wow, we're really going to see a shark here tonight? We never see sharks there, and we're there all the time. The violent event is now part of this Cumberland family's summer album, but seven-year-old Griffin doesn't need pictures to remember. I just saw this splash, and then we all started to run down the beach. Like, it was nobody's business, and then we just saw the seal get bitten. My husband's the one who said it first, that's a great white, that's a great white. Uh, I mean, I didn't think they came up this far, so, you know, we were all skeptical of what you're looking at, but yeah, it was a huge, huge shark. This shot, fin to tail, puts the predator at about 15 feet in length. The seal was spotted minutes before the attack, and moments later, visual proof of the theory that seals and hunger are drawing sharks farther north than normal. At one point, the great white was seen only a few feet from the sand where Griffin and his little brother like to swim. They're just wondering if their friends will believe them. Not in a million years now. You're gonna show, you can show them the video. Yeah, if I do, then they'll have to believe me because this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I mean, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe that even happened. They believe that once-in-a-lifetime part so strongly they say they're not afraid to go back in those very same waters. With the Mobile Newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.